we're having too much fun. The whole idea is the right song that you know, everybody likes, but to leave yourself enough space so everybody can improvise. And that's you know, the last half. That was beautiful, Jeff. Okay, so um, we're going to do a title track from the, the new solo project here that uh, CJ and I spent many moons doing. Um, he's a big aviation buff, loves airplanes. Uh, I'm a big aviation buff in my day job, which I can't really talk much about, but I, I work with things that go very fast and blow things up. And that's kind of fun. And so uh, came up with this working title called Speed of Heat. And uh, so I sent it off. Well, guys, we, we, when we put the tracks in and gave it to the president of the record company, he said, I love the title of the album. Title of the album? He said, yeah, Speed of Heat. Went, okay. Do you know what Speed of Heat is? No, man, I don't care. I, I just love it. Speed of Heat. Speed of Heat. So I said, well, let me explain it to you. The Speed of Heat is a thermodynamic and aerodynamic phenomenon that occurs when you move a body through the atmosphere and it approaches Mach 1, the speed of sound. And he said, well, I don't care. I, that's great. I love it. So if you end up getting the record or the, or the CD, and if you get the vinyl later on in September, you'll notice on the front cover behind me, there's a bunch of equations. And so about three months ago, I got a call from one of my uh, colleagues in Northrop Grumman. They said, I know what you're doing. I said, do you know? And I said, yeah, those are, those are oblong pressure wave equations. He said, you're talking about speed of heat. I said, yes, sir. So we thought the best thing we could do is put together a raunchy, screaming, rocking, full afterburner, Mach 2 Plus tune yeah. called Speed of Heat.
metal record, you know, has a 